when you have a goal, when you have a dream, and when you have a belief, and you throw in that concept of never stop believing and loving in each other, and you can accomplish miracles. Wittenberg, oh, it's a long way. It's oh! They won it! It was a moment and a memory to cherish forever. But North Carolina State's 1983 National Championship is only part of Jim Valvano's lasting legacy. Ten years later, at the inaugural ESPY Awards, he would inspire another team to achieve greatness when he launched the V Foundation for Cancer Research. What I would like to be able to do is to spend whatever time I have left and to give and maybe some hope to others. He was frustrated that more couldn't be done, that there wasn't more research being done, that young people with proven track records couldn't stay in research, and was really determined to change that. We need your help. I need your help. We need money for research. It may not save my life. It may save my children's lives. It may save someone you love. Love was at the heart of Jimmy V's call to arms, and it has translated into hard work and positive results. With the V Foundation's help, about 12 million Americans are alive today as cancer survivors, thanks to advances in research. Every year, the Foundation's Scientific Advisory Board awards grants in four separate categories to aid in that research. One is the two-year V Scholar Grant of $100,000 that is given to a number of deserving applicants. This is for young investigators who have a, a, a new idea that they want to test. Uh, and with the funding that the V Foundation provides, they can obtain enough information to be able to apply for a larger grant from the government as their career develops. In 1994, the V Foundation awarded its first V Scholar grant to an assistant professor at Duke University with a specialty in lung cancer research, Gerald Bepler. Dr. Bepler had shown himself to be very productive uh, in, in the laboratory and from the scientific point of view, but was at a point where funds were critical. If you don't get additional funding, federal funding, sort of within the first five years of your research career, uh, you're more or less forced to give up because um, you just can't afford to keep, keep doing it. Fourteen years after he received his V Scholar grant, Dr. Bepler is now world-renowned in lung cancer research and leads the third largest lung cancer program in the country at the Moffitt Cancer Center in Tampa. Although I really enjoy doing laboratory research, the reason why I'm doing this really is because I really want to help patients with lung cancer. Sounds normal. Oh my God, normal's what I want to be. Normal. That's right. <laughs> I came to see Dr. Bepler, who has been my miracle worker. He told me that the five-year survival rate for stage four lung cancer was only maybe 3%. He has studied my cancer and researched my cancer and has found a treatment that is now working for me. She has really been on an oral medication for the last year and a half and her disease uh, is in essence completely gone. Here was someone with this um, potential medical miracle and the V Foundation helped to fund him, helped to give him the springboard from which I am here today to say thank you, I'm a survivor. Another V Scholar grantee is Dr. Victoria Seawalt, funded originally in 2000 for her research in breast cancer prevention. Two years later, the V Foundation awarded her a second type of financial support, a designated grant tailored to finance a specifically designed project. Maybe 20 women and a dream, and we've now grown to see about a thousand women per year. We've got all the tools that are gonna allow us to really do early detection of breast cancer. We also have new treatments that we're gonna be able to start to use as prevention drugs. I really believe that we're gonna be looking at a future where we really can effectively prevent breast cancer, and that's the gift that I want to give to my daughter and all of our daughters. The V Foundation designated grant made a world of difference. It made everything possible. The third type of funding the V Foundation provides is a three-year translational grant. 
These $600,000 grants are designed to facilitate the transition of projects from the laboratory to the clinic, and two have been awarded to research teams at the USC Norris Comprehensive Cancer Center. In order to do research that is risky, however it will actually lead to the you know, breakthroughs, you need these kind of funds. Without these funds, you know, it, you couldn't do it. We caught this and we were able to treat it. You're a big victory. You're going to stay healthy the rest of the way. The V Foundation, by giving out translational grants, is really filling a gap that is needed in this field to translate the basic research findings into the clinic. You put uh, happiness back into my life, I can enjoy myself again. Okay. I really mean that. The most recently established grant the Foundation awards is the Partners in Excellence program, created to encourage collaboration among cancer research institutions on specific cancer projects. The first such partnership involves an unlikely pair. Duke and UNC are rivals in every sense, but we're together on the same team in fighting cancer. What we said to them is, we'll give you a million and a half dollars for a research grant on genomic breast cancer but you two are going to do it together. And our doctors say it's going very well and we could hope to see some very good results. For the fifth consecutive rating period, the V Foundation has earned a coveted four-star rating from Charity Navigator. The generosity of corporate partnerships, individual donors, and giving clubs has resulted in more than $70 million in donations. As the years pass, the money collected and the number of events conducted increases, including the Jimmy V Celebrity Golf Classic, the V Foundation Wine Celebration, the Men's and Women's Jimmy V Basketball Classics, the ESPY Awards, the ESPY Celebrity Golf Classic, the Dick Vital Gala for Cancer Research, Blow the Whistle on Cancer, the New York Basketball Dinner Auction, the ESPN Internet Auction and Radiothon, and others. Show Your Spirit fundraisers are conducted nationwide, and many are staged in association with Team ESPN. Since October 2006, when the Foundation's Endowment Fund reached its target, 100% of all new donations and event net proceeds have directly funded research at a time when contributions are needed most. The amount of money that the government is giving for cancer research has remained steady. And then if you take the cost of living and the expense of research, it's actually gone down over the past few years. That's why private organizations such as the V Foundation have to find ways to take our money and make it more effective. There's a feeling that we are going to get to a cure. There is an organization with people committed all across the country who are committed to helping us achieve Jim's dream of beating cancer. Cancer can take away all my physical abilities. It cannot touch my mind, it cannot touch my heart, and it cannot touch my soul. And those three things are going to carry on forever. I thank you and God bless you all. <laughs>